What's up? Welcome to the Verzi Triplet Show. Today we got a very funny comedian, Josh Nelson, in the house. Yeah. Wow. He got the very yeah, funny Yeah, that's guy. crazy. Wow. Wow. I didn't think that was well, coming. He's a very sweet, joyful guy. That's well, that would have been, yeah, yeah, mm. been more. But he's also funny. Yeah, but I feel they, like if you're talking about very a comedian, funny. that's very... I'll take it, dude. I don't know why he's trying to hate on yeah, me. Yeah, he's just great. No, because yeah. I've seen him do a bu- sixty intros now, yeah. and it's usually it's usually teleprompted in, and nobody gets an adjective in front. Yeah, I mean, so good for you. Yeah, he did it right, dude. Good for you, man. I'm very proud funny. Of you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. You, and rightfully so. Thank rightfully you. so. Thank I you. agree with it, man. I'll tell you what, just I didn't get that intro. Yeah, of course. Why would he? Regular funny. Yeah, why would he get that intro? Very funny. He just got regular funny. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, man. What's, what's cracking? You have a, how's your New Year's been? Uh, it's great. Since New Year, I'm doing the whole dry January it's oh, my garbage. God. Which, the club. Uh, we were just talking about. <laughs> yeah, it. which is good. But I'm also like going um, no fast food because I was eating a lot of fast food. No soda. Ooh, that's, and that's then a hard one. no bread, which is hard. That's a really hard. So one. everything. So I'm just kind of like resetting the system because yeah, I want to get healthier and. Yeah. The booze one hasn't been a hard. It's only been like six days though, so you can't, <laughs> yeah. you can't say like, "Oh, it's easy." My line is soda one's the hardest because it's so accessible everywhere, and it's like I, I only drink diet coke and water. That's yeah. like the two things I drink. So any restaurant I go to, it's like I automatically just go, "Oh, my food is mixed in with diet coke whenever yeah. I eat it." So like, if I think of like, "Oh, I'm going to Chipotle," automatically my buddy's like. Diet Coke. We exactly. Went, we went to lunch today, and I specifically said we're going to go to a place with a Diet Coke fountain. Because yeah. Because we've been going to Chipotle. There's Chipotle on Ventura Boulevard, by the way. Absolute trash. They've been really, <laughs> they've been really going to shit lately. Because all, we, we talked about this. We, we went there last time, and the Diet Coke fountain machine, they hooked up. They linked the Coke bag to the Diet Coke. Oh, twice. They twice. boozled you guys. Yes. Dude. And I went. I told them. I said, hey, it's the wrong thing. And they're like, okay. And I went back again the next day because I'm pathetic, and uh, right. I I did it. And I'm like, hey, just you guys, you, you gotta know fix that. This, man. I was like, look, the Coke has nothing coming out of it. This is this is not Diet Coke. And they go, okay, we'll fix it, and then they yeah, have not yeah, fixed it. No. Still, it's been two weeks. Yeah, uh, is this one of those ones with the digital buttons and all no, that shit? No. Those are insane. Those I are, still don't get how those work. Those they are don't garbage. They all I, taste the same. Like I've heard everything those are, has like a Diet Coke taste to like it. Like how can you have one machine and you get fan orange Fanta and then also root beer? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. To me. <laughs> you can also change it to like grape. Uh, yeah, root beer if you yeah, want. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's, Imagine. Have you seen when they change out like the? It, it's literally like printer cartridges they put in. It's oh, do not they like have a just bag. like a thousand little? Bags <laughs> it it is like, printer I, ink that you're yeah, drinking. It literally, I swear, <laughs> yeah. it literally looks like printer. That would ink. make it's more disgusting. sense. <laughs> yeah, so that's where you're talking smack about the Chipotle. I just went to one Chipotle. They were out of chicken. Yeah, really. That sounds about right. They were like, "Yeah," and like you can wait forty minutes for chicken. I'm like, if you don't have the chicken, just close. Like, what yeah. are you doing? It's like, like one of your, you know, they have four meats, and that's the main one. Yeah, chicken's the main one everybody eats. Are you, yeah. are you a big Chipotle guy? Uh, no, not really. I'm just trying to find healthy choices. Yeah, so yeah. no options. matter where is, you are in the country. Is cu- Ch- Chipotle the healthy choice? Well, if you get like the the bowl, if you just get like a chicken bowl, it's, it's better. Just it's better than and, McDonald's. Yeah, true. I mean, you can do beans, rice, le- like you can make it. No healthy. matter where you go in okay. the country, any Chipotle you go to, they're automatically out of one item, no matter what. Whether yeah. the soda fountain has a th- something wrong, whether they're missing chicken, every single time I go to Chipotle, they're always missing something. Oh, it's so weird. And yes. they also have the weirdest shifts for their employees. I go so much, I notice like when some people are working and some are not. It'll be like right at like eleven thirty, and like three of the employees are taking lunch. I'm like, this is like yeah. not when you guys get back to take, work. Yeah, I'm taking lunch at this time. You guys need to fucking work. Yeah, do you guys know when you're serving and when you're busy? Like yes. you don't. Like they what's going on? Take it at two. When I you know. know. Doesn't make any you know, sense. Dies down. But it's actually sense. sad that you know their shift schedule. Yeah. Yeah. He's like That's hanging out in the break room with them. I also them. know who's going to be the one I go to. All the He's like, oh, Jessica's going to be here yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you hope that certain people are on certain things? Like, oh, I yes. hope Jessica's on meat, and I hope whatever Ricardo's on saying, beans. I mean, I was one the other day. There was one girl that just hooked it up fat, and I'm like, yeah. That's a, that's, okay, that you makes know sense. which one hook you up. That you need to know sense. which one your Chipotle employee hooks you up. There's a new guy there that looks like he just got out of a meth house. He he's been through some shit. Nice guy, but he like literally will just scoop like five grains of rice in the bowl. Oh, like, you're like no, nah, bro. Like, yeah. you're not, it doesn't matter how much you put in there. Just put load it up. He looks yeah. like he was a, a 
one of the characters in Gears of War. Like, you can, you know the sadness oh, behind yeah, the eyes? Yeah. It's, like, it's like that. <laughs> You're like, we're glad you got a job, but uh, why are you making my food? Yeah. I <laughs> you mean, if you, I just had to, like, he, it took him, like, four scoops to get a normal scoop. I'm like, yeah, you can just do brutal. one big one. He's just, like, struggling with the spoon. I, just, I, if you do something like that, you have to be like, what it's especially like fast food when you go for like the drive-thru it's like hey whatever you think is a lot of ketchup packets double that and yeah. that's what i'm gonna do yeah. you gotta do that with the rice like whatever you think is a lot of rice double it and just load it up i don't care yeah like get it going it's been our ted talk on chipotle's we have a we were very passionate I chipotle. about chipotle. i have a real big beef to pick with chipotle honestly why what so i i'm very plain eater so when i yeah. get burritos i just want chicken cheese and sour cream that's it Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, whatever. Well, sour cream is nasty. <laughs> no yeah. judgment. Yeah. I mean, obviously, a lot of judgment. <laughs> Nothing around. but from judgment. The, yeah. All yeah. judgment. So yeah. judgment. A, a yeah. burrito milkshake, so dude. It's if you get disgusting. a Chipotle burrito, they're like $11. Yeah. And if you get all the ingredients. Well, when I just get chicken, cheese, and sour cream, <laughs> it's still $11. A, yeah. No, you got to do a three item. Listen, I know this now. This is my <laughs> beef with them. So if I don't, I don't get rice, I don't get beans. So my burrito is like a quarter of the size, mm -hmm. but I'm paying the same price. But there's a loophole. If you get just chicken and cheese and then you get sour cream on the side, then it's like $4. And it's like, yeah. come on, fix that system. Really? It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't I, want to do my own sour cream, but it makes it way cheaper. I mean, for I would I would do it for seven dollars. I do, yeah, I do it, but it. I'll, it's like just come on, just to put the sour cream. Them. Yeah, so the sour cream sides are like two fifty, so the whole burrito comes out to like six fifty, and the, they give you like a gallon of sour cream so it works out but it's like just make the system work like i didn't even know they if i don't get rice and beans make it cheaper yeah no i agree you know but i also didn't know they had like a secret like yeah they have the three push, point the three system. pointer yep so if you only get two points it's cheaper interesting i know some lady told me one time how to cheat the system because i was like because half the time they charge you different yeah they'll be they'll hook you up because it's not as many and then they won't and like one time i was like it's normally this price and she gave me the whole rundown <laughs> i was like all right well i'm getting you guys from now on yeah good <laughs> but i wanted to also say today i just got beef and corn that's it that was my healthy option today so okay yeah that's, that's something was yeah. it 450 uh no it was 11 dollars Oh, God. God. Yeah, the bowl's still $11. Oh, it's a bowl. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if they do that on the bowl. Do they at not. least give you a lot of corn? Like, <laughs> Yeah, they did, but you don't need a lot of corn. Like, I, don't, I just did it for the steak. You're just going to shit out all yeah, corn. all later. corn. Can't wait. Well, I'm a big. I will always be a Chipotle fan. Yeah. Ever since I had it the first time, I've fallen in love, and I will. I will never not like Chipotle. It's made Sean fresh. Sean hates it. It's, you hate it? It's it's there's not the salsa's not good. The like the chicken and the meats all kind of bland. Like, yeah. Well, you're like us. You don't really have a good. palate. Yeah. yeah getting, I don't. We don't have palates, and like I have I'm no problem eater. admitting that I'm like, yo, I don't need to try your fancy sushi or whatever. Like I know I'm not gonna like it. When when if you ever go to like a steakhouse or like get a steak out in public, I, like I've had a steak from TJ Fridays that tastes the same as one from Ruth Chris. Yeah. Like I don't notice any I mean, it sort of. It shouldn't, but it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't. But they, they. I've never had one where I'm like blown away. Really? Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Mitchell. Oh. The Mitchell's a notorious like. I'm a big tight steak one. guy. Yeah, oh, is it the I money thing? Yeah, it's the money. So are you it's looking the at the thing. value? Yes. You're looking at the value of a steak at, at Sizzler is way better than I, the value I, of the steak at Ruth Chris. If I get the steak, I get at, that. If I get the steak at Ruth Chris, it better be much yeah, yeah. better than yeah. the one at Fridays. So when I've been into it and it tasted very similar to the ones at Friday, I'm like, I just paid forty extra so dollars. Wrote off all Ruth Chris's. Absolutely, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck them. They got one. They got. That's the only thing they do. <laughs> Fridays makes fucking potato See, I wedges. Think Ruth Chris is bomb. So I don't know about this one. I yeah. disagree. They serve on like a skillet. It's warm when you get it. Like uh, I'm it. not paying twenty extra dollars for a fucking uh, just because a dish looks hot. I, 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 I yeah. it. Hot. It look hot. I it. Mean, TJ Fridays has hot dishes. They microwave them all. You're going for value. I like yes. that. Dude. I, I hadn't eaten enough steaks. Like I always oh, that. Really only steak besides like when mom cooked when we were kids and then like we'd go out occasionally but now that i'm making my own steak i had the like whatever sirloin and then i had the new york strip i bought one day and i was like oh yeah there's a big difference like the cuts of meat are, are, the cuts of meat yeah. are different the you can tell like the marbling in the new york strip was much better yeah, yeah I just, just to say marbling then i don't give a fuck like, well, like oh the marbling on the steak. i'm like <laughs> it's a steak it's a steak you eat it and you definitely that. have like white trash like <laughs> yeah, roots yeah. for sure. Mitchell eats like the, the top sirloin shit. The, that's o the only one I've ever noticed a difference on is Masters. Hold on, I can tell why. And that was because free. we, yeah, there we go. It was free. We did ah. a private show a couple years in a row for this really, really rich guy who paid for 
everything. Yeah, you're going to go all in. I and Mitchell had, and it was free. So that's why he's like, this is delicious because you didn't have to fucking wait for it. Also, you're like, you're like kind of, you, you're you almost like a dog where you just eat like kibble. Like all the shit you eat, he just eats like ground beef, ground lamb. Yeah. He'll just make a bowl and he eats the same thing. He's like, like there's a steak flavor of Alpo and it's $4. <laughs> so I'll just get that. There was, so there, I, I usually do these bowls just if I'm meal prepping. I'll do like, it'll be rice, it'll be ground meat. <laughs> ground meat and then veggies. <laughs> and I, I microwaved it and ate it one time in front of my girlfriend. She's like, I literally served my dog the exact same way. Oh, no, that's I'm funny. Like, You're like, well, go. your dog's classy, man. Yeah, your dog's yeah. on a good diet. That's so it's funny. like, how do you expect the dog to hold understand on, but, hold the on, difference hold on. Before between... that, before that, Alex said, Alex said, I'm also not a fan of Ruth Chris. Right? No, I didn't say that at all. I, oh. I, if I'm going to a steakhouse, I don't mind splurging for steakhouses because it's like it's the atmosphere. Ideally, you're taking a nice date or it's a special occasion. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to pay the extra money to not have a, you know Hector passed out on the bar uh, after his endless apps at Friday. So it's yeah. like, that's what you're paying for. The electric margaritas. Yes. You're, you're paying for the difference in, in I, I will say, atmosphere. though, we're, we are not fine diners. I get it. Yeah. I, I can it. tell you're yeah. not either. Uh, well, no, I am actually, but that's just because I work in, I sell wine and I work yeah. in restaurants, and yeah. so I get a lot of dinners paid for me. Nice. Okay, so you. So then it turns in, yeah, of course, I don't want to spend 70 bucks on a steak. Sure. But when you don't have to, uh, the steak is way better. Yeah, you that's know? what I'm saying. Yeah. And also, I, you <laughs> could probably. It's definitely better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. way better. Yeah. You made it sound like it ain't better. <laughs> it's it's not, I don't. I don't think it's better. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. We, that's we, we, crazy. We went, to, we, went, we went for my mom's birthday, I believe. Right? It was mom's yeah. birthday last you year. You probably got some shit steak. No, no, no. But I mean, you guys got it easy, dude. You go to mom's birthday, you guys three pitch in for one birthday dinner. Yeah. You guys got it easy. I don't no, want to no, hear no. this. No, no, no. She pays. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> mom's birthday. Are you talking about flippings? But you, but you can also put it on, I, I imagine part of those meals are put on the company card, which is also nice. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. A lot of them are, yeah, for sure. See, I have to. Uh, we have a we have a triplet card that I everything is split three no, ways. You don't. Yeah, we, no, do. we do. Yeah. yeah. We have a joint triplet account. How do you guys not? Have, somebody doesn't just run away with it. I man, I watch we, the we account all keep like tabs a hawk. On. We all keep tabs on it. But see, that would be dangerous, man. What if one of you just goes on a spending spree? There, or... there ain't that much money in there. Don't we're worry, not, we're not buying <laughs> that. It's going to turn into the right. Verzi twins. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't that much money in there. Yeah. Yeah. The account. Okay. No, but it's like a kid when you put them on your credit card, but you have to approve their purchases. Oh, that's turn into. That's fine. It's a smart way to do it. Yeah. See, but here's how do you guys buy secret shady shit though? Nah, we another, we're pretty bland. I wish we had, yeah. I don't, what, okay. what would be described They're buying, secret? like, Alpo dog food. <laughs> so, yeah. Just all dog food? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of secret shady things you can buy. I don't need to go into examples. But so there was, there was a point Mitchell, where... Mitchell does have a lot of receipts from Adam and Eve. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> there was a point where they were allowing me... Because we go out all the time for stand up, they were they were allowing me a one drink because they're like, if all three of us are go to a place and we're all not drinking, it looks weird. Yeah. So they were allotting me a one drink, free as a hey, you're the one that you're the primary drinker. You're the normal one. Yeah, it's exactly. Going to that. A, so, a social <laughs> cost. social <laughs> cost. So they were okay with me drinking, and that was nice until I'm like, oh, well, now I'm not going to drink anymore for a minute. Which what do you sucks. do now if you're with three people and you got to buy a round? Is I'll just get I'll just get them buy drink. a round. Is that off the is that off the hook? What are they buying? Uh, Who are you buying a round for? That's right. Round of Hot cards. Pockets it's, oh, for so everybody. You got your individual cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you guys all have individual cards, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah. we are very good at credit card arbitrage. Oh, so the main card is just for your comedy business, really. It's, it's kind of. Yeah. For, like... Uh, if, we, if we if like we we all, show, we all live together, so it's like Costco trips until Sean gotcha. becomes okay, really yeah, cheap, yeah. or like Sean's the been power bill. Sean's been so They're cheap just lately. Taking shots, dude. I don't, it's, it's I don't eat anything it's true. from Costco. No, I just, no, get this. We we go to a. Uh, what like, do you mean you don't eat anything from Costco? They they buy Mitchell buys like fucking blueberries and Stop. shit. And Stop. I don't eat any of that. I don't have to. I, why should I have to pay for I'm fucking sorry, blueberries? I'm sorry we're arguing again. No, I love Josh. We go to we go to for four years. We we've done all of the shopping. Alex Sean's and me never will... made a trip inside Costco. That's awesome. So we do all the shopping, so we'll do everything, and it's never been yeah. a problem because we there's always food. So just recently he goes, well, I'm not paying for this. I, uh, well, that's ridiculous. He starts like, nickel and diamond. Yeah, yes. so now it's like, I'm like, okay, get the receipt, and, and you pick what you want to pay for, but I will never buy you anything again. What yeah. do you buy me? I don't buy, I've never what asked for anything. You didn't know you actually asked for steak? I remember that was it, one time. In no. five years, I asked for one thing, one why time, ask, and you didn't why, fucking get it Why would you ask, You don't ask for anything because we bring it to you. <laughs> I don't eat any of the shit that you guys buy. For, for anybody that doesn't know, Sean's nickname, and this is mainly when he was drinking, is the boy king. He yes. must, everything, oh it, you must... 
to appease the boy king. <laughs> Are you the oldest? No, in the middle. he's in okay, the middle, all right, all but right. he's the boy king. But when he would drink, if you like, if Alex Alex doesn't drink, so if he was like, "Hey, Sean, we're gonna go," Sean would tap on his drink to be like, "We're not leaving until I finish my drink." That okay. was one time. People don't forget. <laughs> and brothers get under each other's skin. I am a professional getting under Alex's skin. Yeah, I'm sure under my tire. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea of you coming in and seeing the Costco receipt and you see blueberries. You're like, "Fucking blueberries!" No, and he, he like re- I'm not paying for blueberries. <laughs> yes. This is I'm not paying for Mitchell's fucking <laughs> evil. He's reiterated it for so that on the past three Costco jokes. And then has the audacity, the audacity to eat the fucking eggs I bought. And I, guess what I did? I went out and I replaced them today. There doesn't matter. You ate them. You didn't buy them? They're not yours. It's the great I, And I, I replaced them. There you go. There you go. Right. That's, uh, you replace them. My roommate will take my stuff and then not replace it or replace it with something way worse. Yeah. Like, I'll get yellow Gatorades, and he'll drink them all, and then he'll replace them with, like, the worst flavor, orange Gatorade. You're like, I don't Yuck. Ooh. I didn't buy orange Grape? Gatorade. Ooh. What are you doing, bro? Orange, yeah. ga- orange Gatorade yeah. is very yeah. underrated. What are you doing, dude? No. Get the orange, same one. You're orange an orange, orange Gatorade, Gatorade oh guy? My, oh, my God. Yeah. Are you a fucking no. orange Starburst guy, too? That's disgusting. The orange <laughs> I like all the Starburst. Gatorade <laughs> Slurpees were bomb. But the orange Gatorade Orange Gatorade's good. great. I mean, yeah. it's all right, but it's like I buy a certain kind that I want. Yeah. yeah. So if you take that no, kind, like, replace like, it with that kind. I like how you're like, I'm, I'm eating really clean and healthy, and then you're just drinking a bottle of yellow Gatorade. Uh, there's zero sugar. Thank you. <laughs> no, I like the Gatorade. Yeah. Hey, man, you got to compromise, man. I, I agree. If you're doing soda, that's tough. I was uh, eating, like, fast food every other day because I'm in sales and I work all the time. And yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to do that. And no soda, so this is the best replacement. I get it. I get you know? it. But yeah, I know it's not the healthiest thing, but just drinking water all the time. Ugh. It's annoying. It's literally all do you like, do you I like hate water? iced it's tea. It's all I drink. <laughs> just water? I haven't drank anything besides water for a long that's, time. That's, you know what dog rolls over? I don't know how over? you do that, man. You know what dog rolls over for a belly rub? When Sean's saying that, that's what he's trying to do. He wants you to compliment him. I'm and impressed that he yeah, can he do it because I just water. You, could, you only lasted. Only, only you only water. lasted a week without it's, diet it's coke. my nipples right here. <laughs> you only lasted a week without diet coke. Go a I month. Could, I could do it. I could do it. Do it. I could. Do I could. I. No. Yeah, but do you, if, do you think you need to? That's the thing. If you need no. to, you know. So I, work I don't need to hard. not drink, but I don't. Do no, no, know? but like I'm, no, I'm talking like you, iced tea. Do you drink iced tea? Nothing. No, I don't drink anything but water. What's the reasoning behind that? I, I got off soda. And I'm, better, I'm better than you? No, it's not a moral thing. I think Alec, like, he, Alex I never, said the frogs are gay, so he didn't want to get I never I never drank coffee. <laughs> okay. I was a big Diet Coke guy. <laughs> okay. And then once I got off Diet Coke, I was like, all right. Like, it was that. Is it, was it a water, health thing? or? It was literally water boot. I just don't care for any other drinks. Yeah, well, then I get it. You're lucky, man. Are I you, wish I you, could just drink water. Do you like bubbles? Do you like bubbly drinks? No. See? Okay, then that, no. that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like soda water? No. no, but you like soda. I yeah, like Coke. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Root beer. Especially when you if you Ooh. eat out of fast food a lot and it's just there. Well, that's the thing. <sighs> and the problem is, is when you're eating fast food, you get the drink, and the next thing you know, you're drink, you're getting a medium, and the Coke's not enough, and you're now you're getting a large Coke, uh, yeah, and yeah. it tastes so good. Yep. Like a yeah. Coke from McDonald's is so good. It's the best. But it's so bad for you. Awful. The, out it's of the, so bad for you. Out of all the diet cokes I miss drinking, McDonald's one. That's, that was the best one. Um, that's the one I miss. Although Del Taco is very slept on, I think. Del Taco is the best one. It's bad. But. No, no, no. But I mean, their soda is also just as good. Also, can we go back? Like the red and the lemon lime Gatorades are the red and the yellow Gatorades. Are I the, see. Uh, the red for me is an out. I don't like the oh, red. What? Yeah, it's like it's the all best right. flavor. It's all right to me. And you talk shit about purple. Purple's my grapes. My <laughs> my go to. Oh, oh wow. grape. There's an. It's like a lighter. I think Frost. It's called, is it? Yeah, Glacier Frost Freeze. Or Riptide Rush. Yeah. yeah, Riptide Rush is good. <laughs> yeah. Have you had? Have you had? It's a Gatorade Zero. It's all white, but it's an Arctic cherry flavor. I, I like that one. Yeah. That one's good. I think I've seen it, but I haven't had it. it. Yeah, it's white, but it's cherry flavored. Yeah. Alex is on that. For I like. A while. I like the Arctic cherry. Mm-hmm. I okay. really loved the Red Gatorade, and then I don't know if you've ever made a Faderade before. Do you know what that is? Booze and Gatorade. Yeah, Vodka it's where you pretty much. It's, yeah. It was something we did in college. I've had it before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you drink, you drink Gatorade down to the label, and then you fill the rest up with vodka. Yeah, geez. and. I the phenomenal drink. Yeah, loved it. But, I still remember the aftertaste. But, I can taste but when it you, now. But when uh, you but when you puke it up, you'll never ever get rid of it. And it's like if you do it with the red one, you're like, yep. oh, I'm puking blood. Yep. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then it just tastes like every time you drink the red Gatorade, it's like cough syrup every time oh, you drink it. Now. Yeah, so, that sucks. But never had that problem with the. Uh, I mean, I like the yellow. Don't get me wrong. The only reason I stopped drinking the yellow is because they said it kills your sperm. But I'm like, so well, does everything else. Everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? Uh, so, my favorite was the purple G2, and they're all the whole G2 lines discontinued. 
G2's gone. Ooh. Yeah. Was the G2 the one that was like half the calories? Yeah. I think it was half the sugar, okay. half the calories. They just went straight to zero. What about Propel? Did you ever get into Propel? Uh-uh. I'm like the only one that I liked Propel. The stuff tastes like oil. Propel does? Yeah. Bro. It's just, it's like a... It's like a light gator, uh, like a l- very slightly hinted water. It's like it. clear... Gatorade flavored. Bad. No, they do. They do. Yeah. A lot of places just don't care. What's it. the other brand that's like rivals Gatorade? Powerade. Powerade. I've had that one, but I think that one doesn't taste good. Now, no, the Powerade, Powerade was grape. Good. You would love I haven't had it. I, I, I had a Powerade that. grape, Ooh. I think, every day at high school. Because they had a vending machine there. Powerade Fountain from McDonald's was actually pretty fucking good, too. This yeah. is just a, a beverage talk. <laughs> I know. Chipotle and Powerade. We're letting the people know, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is our beverage talk. We're going to add half The BevCast. Yeah, the BevCast yeah. with the Versies. Uh, I saw on your story the other day that you were uh, in one of those big, like, what do they call it? Like, blow up? Uh, a blimp? No, you fucking idiot. No, oh. Like, like, the big blow up playhouses, pretty much. So, eventually, this will be a bit, but I took my nephews to... Um, it was a bunch of the bouncy houses. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hell and yeah. it was a whole like mini park of them. It looked like That's Raging Waters, cool. but with a yeah. giant blow So bus. it was really cool if you didn't take your nephews there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a two year old, a four year old, six year old boy nephews. Oof. And I was just holding the two year old because there's a thousand kids in this mm-hmm. thing. And the problem is, it's not just like. Two four year olds, six year olds. They had like high school kids in here, yeah. and kids are just running, throw like yep. taking out people. I saw old ladies falling. Like I got taken out. I thought I was gonna tear my ACL. Yeah. Like it was mayhem, dude. I like literally like it's right when I got there. My the four year old and the six year old nephew. They just took off running, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna find him again. Yeah. And then you start thinking like, what if they get kidnapped on my watch? Mm. It was like the most chaos. Every parent in there. Their face was just like, just terrified. Like every single one, it was insane. Did you, I've never been. And every parent, we were like, "This is insane, right?" And it like, was, yeah. It was wild. It was like, um, I was gonna say, do you have it? Sa- do you have the video saved to your? Story? I do. Yeah. I'll, do you have I'll, it on your phone? Yeah. Can you send it to me? Because we can put it on the TV. I can. It was like, I, I, you know how they used to have those big, like when you go to a carnival, you used to have those like eight, eight rows long slides, and like people yeah. go down. It was like that big and longer no, than that. I, I'm imagining like uh, Hanoi traffic, just <laughs> everything in as well. I would. I mean, here's just a picture of it. I, I mean, I, I'll send that. To, yeah, to send you. it to send me. It on Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Let me that, it. for us, we would have been bodying people. Like if we yeah. were in high school and that was around, we would have just been literally trucking kids. Well, and there was there was kids like that. Like my four year old nephew just got trucked like Dick Buckus <laughs> style by some like eleven year old, and he just got up and ran on. It was like no like accountability. There's yeah. there was literally because you had to like it was so chaotic that you wanted to keep eyes on the kids at all times. So there was like sixty year old grandmas just in the middle of this bouncy house oh, because no. they had to keep an eye on their kid, and it was just. Every parent was just like fearful. It yeah. was just chaos. I like, it's hard to explain, and I got to figure out how to for a bit. But mm-hmm. it was like the the most frantic shit I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, well, it's like a thunderdome for children. Yeah, and then there was there was kids that were the happiest ever in their life, and I then there were kids so. that were crying yep. because they couldn't find their parents. Or, like, they couldn't do, like, my nephew tried to do, they had, like, one of those mini, I'll, I'll try to send this, yeah. one of those mini run walls, like they do in, like, yeah. American Gladiator. Yeah. yeah. And my nephew tried to do it, and he couldn't get up it, so he's just bawling. Like, it was just, like, people were the happiest of their life, and then it was the worst day of people's life also. Yeah. Yeah. It was insane, man. It was it was literally. I remember our cousin rented a big, uh, like, it was, like, the backside was, like, a big rope ladder you climb up, and then the front was a big slide. Or uh, Ryan, yeah, and um, I remember we were tr- we were like pulling each other down on the ladder, like, and oh yeah, one was pulled me down, and my leg whipped and just like kicked this kid behind me, and I oh. immediately started crying. I mean, it was a small kid. It's and I was like, like hard oh, to explain God. the chaos. Yeah. It really is. I um, mean, that for us, like as a as a kid. And the amount of roughhousing we did, that sounds like a fucking dream. But that, but that also just sounds like uncle duties, where it's like the expectations are somewhat low and, and for some reason somewhat high, where it's like, you know, there's no expectations where it's like, yeah, the kids are going to have a fun time with you. We don't expect you to like, save their life. Yeah. But also it's kind of high where it's like, you're taking care of these kids and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, in my mind, and to be honest, for the kids, they loved it. It was the coolest oh, yeah. thing they ever did. Like every kid had a blast. 
And uh, in my mind, I was like, this will be the coolest thing ever. And they loved it. But then you just start thinking about like the worst things possible, of, like a mm. kid getting kidnapped and taken out of this thing. Yeah. And that's the only that was the only scare because because so, then you got to have eyes on the kids the whole time. Yeah. If you weren't worried about that, it would have been like, just go play it. I'll sit here and be fine. Yeah. But, but you're just like so worried about something. And they didn't have like the front guarded. Like anybody could have no. just nabbed a kid and mm. left. So you're terrified of it. Well, that's what you're I'm saying. You're going to Little St. James. That's what I'm saying. If, if everything goes well, which it seems like it did, no one got yeah. hurt, you're the coolest uncle ever. Yeah, it was awesome. But if somebody you gets know? hurt, then it's like, you're a piece of shit. You let this happen. What, how, could, how could you do that? I you, mean, you should have just, just, air, you just air tagged them up. This is a... I mean, this is just this one is part, part of it. it. This I don't is just a part of one of the slides. Not the greatest example. No, you can I didn't see on the left side, there's like... The one you posted on your story was I think I can find that one. Yeah, this yeah, just, looks, it just keeps going. This just looks like a slide. This isn't that chaotic. This just looks like you recording. Is that your kids. ugly? Whose ugly kid is a swipe? No, I don't know any of these kids, man. <laughs> oh, oh, that's even creepier. <laughs> no, I think the one you had on your story was like it was, it was a big red. Uh, red oh yeah, one. that's just a picture of the long slide. I mean, you get a you get a uh, the gist of it. A big inflatable. It, it was, was like, just like a fairgrounds or what? It was like it was an park? inflatable park, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. That's dope. Did you have to pay money to get in there? Or just uh, it was like ten bucks a kid. Oh, oh that's not bad worth it. it. Yeah, it's like a mini mosh pit. Oh, I mean, at that go. point, it's literally just like, hey. Stay alive. I think That's my parents it. would stop watching us. Put an point. air tag on you. Like, I would just be like, here, wear an air well, tag. Well, in the old That's days, it. you would have just not even, you would have just stopped watching them. You yeah. wouldn't have even continued, for sure. Do you, do you remember, like, the McDonald's play places and all that kind of shit? Yeah. Yeah, but that's isolated. That's, like, this one little area. Oh, this is a good one. Here we go. This, that, this is, like, so. a thousand McDonald's play places. Yeah. It was a lot. It's insane. Like... I can't even do justice to how like fearful I was. Why I was like, I in even... your story? I just saw you standing in like the middle of it, I, he... and it's like still you're like still bouncing around. It's like you still have to keep your. Balance. Oh, no, you have to balance, yeah. and you're like kids are like a kid took me out by my legs, uh, turned Form the corner, tackle, took nice. me out. Yeah, and I'm like, this is my my ACL is gonna, like dude, that's one of my biggest fears is uh, the dog park ACL tear, and then now this one. I love how you survived that, but. Hot yoga to softball is where you really got I know. hurt. <laughs> I got hurt playing softball. Oh, here you go. This is Jeff. Here we go. Let's see. For anybody watching. This is Josh, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, that's, Josh. All right, Josh. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. that's all right. Uh, the videos. Doesn't feel like playing at the moment. Yeah. Real exciting stuff. Um, well, you know. What are you going to do, man? I think, uh, sure, I think man. Josh is wearing the same hat. Okay, that's kind of like a glimpse of it. That's the wow. whole park. Holy shit. Refresh That's it. Maybe just go dope. refresh it. That's part of it. I mean, this thing is massive. This it's... video shows you how big it is. All right. Video's well, not playing great. You know, we we've, we've invested a lot of effort into this uh, this jump I mean, house bit. I yeah. But you get the point of it. It's um, it's a mini mosh pit. It's chaos. Oh, so that's not even the worst part. Oh my god. At the end, I lost my keys. Oh, oh no. My god. <laughs> In the jump park, I lost my keys. And they were luckily every every hour they shut it down and they ship all the kids out and then so I luckily got to look for my keys <laughs> oh my while God. they shut it down for like twenty minutes and you know what that's like trying yeah. to look through all the places you've been to find your keys and I finally found them. Wow, it was like chaos. Were they man. like in the fold? Between no, they were just like laying on the corner of like an area where like I was just like jumping a little bit. Okay, like good. they just fell out of my pocket. You need zipper pockets there. It's oh, like yeah. uh, do you remember? I had no idea what I was walking into. No <laughs> idea, man. Like I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have brought three of them for sure, and I wouldn't have done it by myself. Yeah. Do you, like, do you remember were, Double Dare? Where yeah. you have to like find <laughs> that your best. that was like you finding your keys was like the uh, oh, yeah, trying the, to find your flag and the yeah, big nose or whatever. Nose, yeah. Dude, all the <laughs> slime, the nose. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it was. And uh, then you're panicked because you're like, kids are coming in like a half an hour. I gotta find this before they just open it up. Like oh, it was a lot of panic for one day, but it was, it was fun. And that's what I'm saying. It's like they're not even your kids. No. I mean, they're your they're yeah. your nephews. Of course you love them, but like. Damn, that's like it's a lot of hassle. If for our took if our uncle took us to one of those places though, they would be our like that is our fucking heaven right there. You know what? If kid. we would, if us would go right now to that place, we would have it would be our heaven now to do it all. Oh yeah, oh it's totally like fun. it was so much fun. Yeah. You but we just might... worried about like losing a kid. That was where. And I'm way more, like, my brother laughs. He goes, you're way more concerned about where the kids are and their safety than we are. And I'm like, yeah, dude, because if anything happens, 
I'm I'm not your kid. Yeah, I'm getting my ass chewed, you know? Well, that, and it's like, they get so much, they get enough of them where they're like, yeah, just get them out of the house. I don't give a shit. Like, but you're like, all right, this is my only time I get to see them for the week. Like, don't make sure they don't die. You you wouldn't want to go with us, though. If you you went with us, you might catch a stray. Oh, I would shoulder. mess you guys up. (laughs) (laughs) I played college football, bro. I forgot to tell you. You hurt yourself after hot yoga. That was a long time ago, man. That was a month ago. That was a month ago, dude. I will stand by this because I talked about it with, I think, Jeff the other day because he was talking about hot yoga and how you strained it afterwards. I'm like, yeah, that makes total sense because when you do hot. hot yoga specifically, I was all warmed up. Your muscles stretch further than they would because it's hot. And then we went straight <clears throat> out to cold and. And then you're going into a I quick twitch. And we had game. an hour off. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like the worst possible. And I rolled my ankle into a hole. There's a lot of things. I'm a great athlete. Let's get that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I stood by you on that. Sean was giving you shit, but I stood by you because I'm Which like. Which one of you said that? You said it. You could do an hour, no problem. You said oh, two I said, hours. I said I could do two hours. You said you no could problem. do two hours, no problem. hundred percent. I would like to. How much money to do that? You said. Free. Get so them let's on. make it happen. Do it. Do it. Two hours do, of what? Two well, hours of hot yoga class. class. I'm not for the class. I'll pay for the yoga oh, class. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going to yeah. die. We'll pay yeah. for the yoga class. With water? Uh, yeah. No water. No, no, no. Whatever. Everybody's got a price is a podcast got I got coming out, and his price is going to be just a class of two hours of yoga. <laughs> it's about, it's it's not about the money. It's he also about did 100 push ups, which is whatever, but it was. <laughs> this is I had to prove that to Jeff. I had to prove that this to Jeff. This is completely different, though. This is not like something he practices at night. Like, yoga is w- much Dude, different. it was more of a mind thing than anything yes. for me. You're just like, the whole time, you're like, God, I want to get out of here. This I want to get out of here. This is Yeah, I guess. This is. This I mean, minus is... two, I didn't get out. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I can do that. I've never done hot yoga. I've been in the sauna. That's why you think you could do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Though. I wonder if they'd even let you do two hours of hot yoga. No. Probably not. I don't think they would. Well, Especially we for buy, the first time. we got to bypass that. I'll just slip slip them a couple 20s and be like, you know. Maybe we'll just do our own where we go out to the desert and we'll have you do yoga or there something. There we go. Like, yeah. Like well, I don't know. Barstow at 120. To... <laughs> Lake Havasu. We'll yeah. Get Lake Havasu. There we go. We'll oh. go out to a hot you day. Can't, you can't go in the water. Oh, is that hot out in Lake Havasu? No, I, I would do it. Oh, you just made a weird sound. I said, oh, really I said, like, no, I love Lake Havasu. Oh, like you, the, the, you finally registered how hot 120 nah. is. We'll get them on the, we'll get them on the rocks out there. <laughs> so I love Lake Havasu. Let's go have a tap out immediately. Havasu. Havasu's yeah, the I, best. Give him, I give him 45 minutes. He could do the first session. But the second session, no way. I mean, I think you could do an hour. I mean, I really yeah. do. I did it. Of course I can. But two hours? Two is brutal. That's insane to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm an insane guy, Josh. Honestly, you know like, <laughs> like, even like hot, 20 minutes into this hot yoga, it was like 122 degrees or something like that. I was like, I don't know if I can do this. And then 40 minutes, you're like, when does this shit end? Yeah. And Here's then the thing. finally, you're like, oh, God, thank God. You know, I go on a tanning bed weekly, so that's kind of like oh, training yeah, that's for like that. Oh, yeah, that's like 280, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're also just sitting there. You like take a nap. No, yeah, I'm standing, so yeah, it's... You've it's, been training your whole life with this tanning yeah, bed you're thing, in a man. Tan, it's a standing, it's a standing, standing, standing bed. tanning bed, yeah. Huh. At Planet Fitness. Is it like the one in from Friends where he goes and gets sprayed and like that one? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. It's, it's an it's a actual bed. It's just a vertical bed. You know those that lights they have so to cook the burgers at McDonald's? That's... You the, stepped on Jeff's joke. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, it's I'd like the, to hear the joke, but I you know the wanna... lamp that they have to keep the burgers warm at McDonald's. <laughs> he's in it. See, notice how he retold his joke and it was funny. That's when yeah. he has a joke is strong. Well, when the joke's fun, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you just didn't have a funny joke last well, time. Well, isn't part of a bed like the fact that like yeah. what makes it a bed is can you we, can lay down on it. Can Fucking we Google the definition of bed? Shit. Because he, I think bed is you well, have you to be able to lay down. You said it's a vertical bed. Vertical tanning bed. Yeah. No, that just means it's a series of lights. If you put a bed. Bed. If you put a mattress on the wall vertically, is it not still a bed? No, it's a, it's it's a Murphy bed. It's wallpaper. No, but you don't sleep on the uh, like standing up. That's what true. are you fucking semantics? What are you? Who gives a shit? No, we need the bed bed definition. Definition of bed of bed. <laughs> what makes is called a, ta- a standing tanning? No, bed. no, we need to know no, what what it's a booth. entails. No, it's a booth. Tanning booth. Boom, See, booth. Thank you. There you go. We knew you were wrong. But, you. but can we get the definition of a bed? Please? That's what I would like. Okay. Just so that we know exactly. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I Hold mean, a we're... piece of furniture uh, for, for sleep. For sleep or rest. So that is not vertically. I mean, could you have slept on it? Let's get you to do another thing for I some stand free. Standing. I can sleep standing. <laughs> uh, also, a verb uh, to have sex with. That's I am quite informal. picky when it comes to uh, betting someone. Okay, that's it's a verb. That's, a, that's more of an okay, English, so an English term. You, think you fucking s- the tanning? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I would like to see you sleep standing up on a wall. 
We got you got some, You got some things you got to do, Al. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Standing, sleeping, and uh, I'll do it. <laughs> Two hours. I love his yoga. confidence. He can do everything. That's that fantastic. one. I'm gonna charge for. I like my sleep, so I'm gonna charge for that one. How much are you gonna? How much will it take to do that one? Uh, for a night. Yeah, write, for a night. write these down, Jeff. Thou- I'll do a thousand. Oh, come on! Everybody do a thousand dollars. Well, there you go. That's my price. Yeah, I did the other one. out of that one. First, first you just one's said for you free. could do it no problem. Now it's a thousand dollars. First one's for free. Yeah. <laughs> first one's for free because you said you could do it and you were yeah. arrogant about it. The best part is you'd never get the thousand bucks because you're not going to stay up while you're sleeping. You're going to immediately fall and then the bet's off. No, you have to angle yourself yeah. correctly. You have to be harnessed to or a wall. Or we duct tape yeah. them to the yes. wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get like a, a pupusa where you, where you put the oh babies in. Oh, my God. In. Could you imagine being duct taped to the wall like that? I bet you couldn't sleep. It'd be no. hard to do. My dad apparently had to sleep standing up because he he's like pinched a nerve in his back, oh, and he said yeah. if he laid down, it would just go crazy. Why wouldn't you just get like one of those Barca lounge or rock, like rocking chairs? He, he couldn't move. Sleep standing he couldn't. Up. He couldn't, was, he couldn't even lie. Nice. They have like anti gravity chairs though. Where now they do. This well, was dad did twenty five years ago, <laughs> but he did this recently where he's like, yeah, so I just sleep standing up. Like I'm like, That's you're serious. an idiot. I can't he runs, imagine. runs in the family. Oh yeah, he runs in the family. False confidence. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> I'm Defin- not admit definitely that. I'm yeah. not going to admit I can't do something until I've failed. Well, okay, but but, but, but if we are going to do, I it know, for but it, you're walking into these things if, like you'll if, do them. If we are going to do it for a thousand dollars, you also we also have to have a little tracker on you to make sure you actually go to sleep. Like it has to be able to gauge. Oh no, we're going to go to a room that's empty. We're going to put them on the wall, and then we're going to yeah. sit there and watch this shit. And eat I'm going to have this. But he, on he the can't wall. just sit there with his eyes closed. He actually actually has to enter sleep. Yeah, but I can't sleep being like. Naturally, I won't sleep the entire time. But if I fall asleep at some point, the, we'll does go that up. Count? We'll draw on how many fees knows yeah, yeah. right away. Then yeah, yeah we got it. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I don't think you can. Easy. Nice. I'm already prepping for it. I just yawned. Put me yeah. up against the wall. I'll do it. <laughs> I got it. I just picture you against that wall trying to sleep for eight yeah. hours. Good get luck. out of here. No way. Thank you. As if your legs wouldn't get tired just from standing that <laughs> long. They've been they're they're very finely standing trained after the hot yoga for two hours. Oh, there you go. What did you play in uh, college football? What position? I played safety. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. Laying, safety laying the wood and, uh, down. And, uh, I did. I cheered also. Yeah, everybody loves that one way more than the college football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I played football at a junior college, and then I transferred to Colorado State, walked on there, and then realized I was never going to play. Fort Collins? Uh, Fort Collins, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, your brother right. went yeah, there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, realized I was never going to play because they were so good and so fast, mm-hmm. and so then I would just quit. And then I was walking by the cheerleaders one day. I was like, oh, I could do that. And then started doing it. People so, people trash you for that, but I respect it. I what, loved it. It's it was move. so much fun. Yeah. What, are think, the, what are the pros and cons of being a male cheerleader? The pros are ladies. Mm-hmm. You're with ladies Obviously. all the time. And then the, uh, the real gold mine at Colorado State was all the dance team, they all wanted to be cheerleaders. And you hung out with all the dance team all the time because they practiced in the same area also. So and more then, women. Yeah. And we, so and we was, know that dancers are whores. Yeah. Right? So, and because they were, I don't know about all that, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Shot denigrating women. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know about all no, that. No, no. Well, wh- whores are fine. That's, I you know, that's whores. a positive image. Um, that, and then uh, also being on the field for the football games was yeah. pretty dope. That's was, dope. Yeah. For college football games, you're just right on the field. And then the basketball games, you're right on the court. And then I got to go to, like, when they would go to bowl games, New Orleans and Memphis and Beale Street. They fly and, you in? Uh, yeah, you, it's all, you get to go for all of it. And then the, the real cool thing is every year in Florida, you do the competitions. And it's, like, it's all the colleges. And mm. we ranked, we took, like, 21st in the nation one year. Hell, yeah. It was out of, like, 25 teams. But that was just to get to into the competition. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's like everybody submits hundreds of teams, so that was cool. And that's probably a wild party. Afterwards. It's insane. It's in Orlando at um, Epcot. Oh Damn. my god! Disney World with Hell thousands yeah. of cheerleaders, <laughs> and ten percent of them are men. Like so, ninety percent is female. It was insane. It's a great ratio. It's it was honest. like it was the, one, of the best, one of the best times of my life. But because I quit football, all the football players gave me so much shit, and then all my friends would just come and just heckle me. While I was doing uh, everything, <laughs> they would just yell at me, but it was worth it. Hate I is love gonna it. hate. I love so it. That's also genius. That's like playing 3D chess. You're I was. Like... It ended up working out fantastic. Yeah. And I was in the best shape of my life just coming from football to mm-hmm. doing this, and you're doing flips and stuff, so you're always in shape. So yeah. it was cool. What was the What was the worst part about cheerleading? Uh, it was hard, man. It was, uh, it beats you up. Like you would take 
you'd throw these girls and then they would spin and they would knock you in the head. You get like I probably got like three or four concussions from doing it. <laughs> you um, got more concussions cheerleading than playing safety. <laughs> yeah, easily. Yeah, because safety you get to do the hitting. So yeah. You get to. Um, you just catch a stray from a fall. Yeah, because you would like girl like, girls would spin and their elbows would just come and knock you out. Like it was crazy, man. I believe. Well, that, you're actually. trying to catch a human that's yeah. flying through the air. Or like the basket toss. I don't know if you've seen that. It's like four dudes throw one girl in the air uh-huh. and they throw them like. Like it's like 15 feet up, yeah, and then you can catch a girl, and it, it, so that was the hard. That was the hardest part. I'm yeah, like, like prop for the girl. I would not do that shit. Yeah, it's Being, crazy. That's that's a lot of trust. It's crazy, man. It's also funny how like they go about. It. It's like, oh yeah, you're tiny. We're throwing you up in the air. It's like well, you okay. Know, you know Katie, who you like to give yeah. shit to. Yeah, yeah, Katie. Um, Katie Kazorla. She was uh, who cheered. She cheered at University of Kentucky, which is like the best school to cheer at back then. Okay. So you see her little size. Like mm-hmm. that was the size of the girls, and they flip and they do all kinds of stuff. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. She she randomly pulled out the bar the other day that she just like put her leg above her head just like oh, yeah. while she was sitting. I'm like, what the fuck? It's impressive. It was very impressive. Like yeah. you just, I guess when you get flex, once you get flexible, you never lose it. I guess there's a point where once you, uh, you maintain it, I was like, yeah. well, if you maintain it, yeah, yeah. But so I don't yeah, know. It's just like anything in life. Guys are a lot less flexible than girls. I yeah. think just more like net. I think it's because girls know. got pusses. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe the balls get in the way yeah. for us to be flexible, dude. That's <laughs> he loved that. An joke. astute yeah. observation. <laughs> yeah. That was that made him laugh harder yeah, than he anything always he's makes ever said. Laugh. That's good. Somebody's got to laugh at that. <laughs> that's why. That's going to be the, the the title of the album, God, or the title of this episode. Girls, girls have got pussies. pussies. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Too funny. Uh, so you guys mentioned Havasu. Why did you guys go to Havasu a bunch? Oh, every year. Every we just, year. Every year we. Uh, I, I don't know why my parents took us there, but that was like the family vacation. Every summer was we went to Lake Havasu, Arizona. Out on the lake. A- out on, on the lake with your down, parents. Yes, we'd go down oh, to the can... river though. We'd go down to like okay, the lake okay. and the river meet, so, so we get the like, cold water. Got you. We would just yes, kind of camp colder. out. Yeah. yeah, we would just beach camp out, and then. Okay, so you weren't in like the party thick. Now, no. and as we've yeah. matured, now yes, you know. Now we've gone yeah. more into the party part. Which is great. It's insane. Um, I mean, the channel is fun, uh, but you know, you got to get kind of where the, there's a flow of water because you get stuck. Yeah. Where the water's stagnant, then it's just piss, gas, and beer. Oh, you'll like this, dude. We went with one. We went one trip, and we had a couple last minute ads. Uh, we had a bunch of friends that went, and then we had a bunch of like. Friends One of, of friends. the friends, girlfriends, sisters, friends came. It was a very weird, but we needed a couple bodies. Yeah. So they came. Uh, and we went to the channel the one day, and these girls, one of them got railed in the water. Oh, yeah. In the channel water, and then the other one got finger popped in the channel it's water. It's called Copper Canyon or something like that. I think Copper, Copper Canyon, Canyon is yeah. one, but this is like the London Bridge Channel. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So oh, that yeah. Water that is place disgusting. is disgusting. Oh, yeah. Those then, girls got UTIs immediately. Yeah. It yeah. was disgusting. Yeah, that's insane in there. Yeah. No, they get wild out there. I mean, if you haven't been to Lake Havasu... There'll be like 70-year-old, 80-year-old ladies just showing titty. You're like, yeah. Ah, everybody will pop their tits Gosh, out. She had, she had wow. diesel cooch from the, uh, the gas Oh, water. yeah, the yeah. gas is just <laughs> everywhere there. It was I, uh, truly disgusting seeing that out. I fucked on a sea dew out there. Oh, yeah. sea dew sex? That's my... Uh, it's not as great as you think. Because I've been no. sitting in the channel all day, you know. Once when you're in the water, yeah. for that long of time, your dick can only get to like seventy percent. You're not rocking I, a full mast. I don't know. I've had sea dew sex. It was pretty. Have you been? Have you been soaking in there for a while? No, we did on top of the sea dew. No, I know, but I'm saying I've been soaking <laughs> in the water for like hours, and then we went out afterwards, and then we fucked on the sea dew. But you guys also went to Parker, which is a lot colder, right? No, we went to. We no, it house. wasn't a cool we did a, bar, we did a bachelor party in Parker. But you were saying like the camping where the river isn't the river For, like we would, no the other way. Oh, okay, north. Yeah. Of, okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, I've never north. been there. It's nice. great. Jeff, can I get a rank chip real quick? Yes. Just just to show you the cuteness. Yeah, right we've here. been going for a long time. Look at these little cuties. Oh yeah. By the way, what a great trip for families. Yeah, we yeah. had a great time. Like a it's guys. not very. It's not really expensive. Kids yeah. love it. Like we take my Look nephews and take them. We take them uh, like. Tubing and stuff. This okay. was last Megan. year, actually. Yeah, That's awesome. <laughs> you guys have grown, man. <laughs> a lot. Finally got a girl spirit. How did you have that it's pulled up so quick, man? Uh, I, I, I was too. I was like, he's good, yeah. dude. He's just ready for the yeah. the youngster picks. Yeah, dude. Young Jeff. We, right. um, I love it out there. Oh, I, I've been out there for family stuff, and then in college we went out there for spring break, and that oh, was a whole God. different. Nice. And honestly, like it's still good now, but 20 years ago. 
Like you would go to Copper Canyon and you couldn't, you would walk from boat to boat. Yes. It was just insane. People would be jumping off the high like area. Like it was insane. Did you ever watch it? They had a show, a shitty show on uh, Party Heat on uh, TBS or something called, not TBS, whatever, whatever the one of the, the True Operation TV. Repo, True TV, okay. called Part Lake Havasu no, Party Heat. No, but I'm sure it was insane. But it was basically following the cops during like the spring break and some of the wild summers. And it was like, they would show some of the people, like literally people would jump off Copper Canyon, die, hit a rock. Oh yeah. Or people would pass out and just float down the river. 100%. And okay. then just, one more rain chip real quick. You see like, yep. you see these people, just their face third degree burn yeah. from the sun. You get so, like, cause people don't realize, especially when you booze it up, like it can get dangerous out there too if you're not completely paying oh, attention. It's, it's we almost we almost sunk a boat when we were in college. Yeah, that it's, it's just like I mean, it's legitimately 120 it so degrees. Fun, it's Literally. like a dry heat, 120 degrees. You're in the water too, so you're you're all of your liquids getting like absorbed out of you. Just chaos. those are boats. That's two, Jesus, that's, yeah. Yeah. Those are all boats. <laughs> Team Woody. That's 2000. <laughs> that's like when I was there in like 02 and 03 and go stuff. To, can you go down? Uh, it's all ASU Spring Break girls. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, this is like this, wow. this is the yeah. Copper Canyon, that's, where like these boats would literally just pack in. That was my people would junk off the the rocks on the right here. I don't know if you can see it. But you like, had to get a ride out there, though. Like, that was the hard part. You'd have to know somebody or get a ride or beg somebody. You'd almost need, like, an Uber or see yeah. you to get out there. Yeah, yeah there you, you, don't wanna, you don't want to get your boat stuck. No, you or... don't want to put your own out there. No. Since then, they've kind of, they've definitely, like, It's not as crazy down. like yeah. that. No, yeah, oh, yeah a lot of people, people die. die all the time. Yeah. There's some people there. People that would, like, die there? Oh my god, they jump off rocks. Yeah, people would yeah, they had cliff jumping in between uh, the boats. Yeah, they and, and then the they just ghosts get, would go the boats would the boats come just, together and then and they oh would my drown. God. Yeah, yeah. Dude, there's and everybody was wasted. Alcohol yeah. poisoning. This it's 120 degrees, somebody's dehydrated. Yeah, there's a lot of stroke. stuff going on. It, it, but the man, alcohol it was a good catches, time. Yeah, it's it a great time. <laughs> I love like Amazon. You could die, but it's also fun. I mean, if you don't die, great time. Great time, man. One of the best. There's one time we were um we were all beached up over kind of by Copper Canyon, and literally within 10 minutes, a monsoon came in. Oh, where no. we were like, you can tell, like, when the monsoon, like, the wind just starts getting really harsh, and you're like, uh, we may want to start packing, and then just clouds and everything come out like, of nowhere. I was gonna say, it was cl literally clear skies, not a cloud in yeah. sight, and then literally 10 minutes later, I've been out there when it happens, it's crazy, it comes uh, out of nowhere. We got the, caught. The boat almost blew, like, we almost wrecked the boat because it blew into the rocks, but my buddy was a 310 pound gorilla and was like able to like, pull it away. It. Oh, that's great. But they got away and then they I had to ride the sea doo with because of their my family sea doo. So me and Mitchell and Sean, my older brother, had to ride the sea One sea with the three of you? <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell, we've had, we've Mitchell had that's where the Lake Havasu joke goes. <laughs> yeah. Mitchell was drunk, and my older brother was smashed, so I had to like throw him on the back, and I'm literally driving it in between. Man, right? yeah. And I'm just you were just drinking water. Yeah, it was the worst. It was like a 30 minute ride. And the worst, it was just <laughs> the worst. I know. It's the crazy. worst part was you could see the cloud and where the sun is. Like, the, you're just trying to catch the sun in the lake mm -hmm. to get out of like the fucking cloud. Yeah, the, and the white oh. caps are going. Yeah. 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 It's it rough out there, too. Oh, it's oh, they lost. I think that day they lost like five boats. Yeah, five boats. Like, five boats day. sunk that day. It's crazy. <laughs> it was. It was. I mean, but I can't, like, have but I can't imagine that happening in like this. If that happens at the sandbar, you literally just have to wait it out. You can't move. Like, if that in the photos we showed. If yeah, that, I think the sandbar monsoon, you'd be fine, but anywhere else, because it gets deep and. Well, weak. the sandbar had, like, you can park the Boats onto the sand. so it's like all right, you can just kind of wait it out, and everybody kind of like holds each other. We in. we should do a, a we should do a bro trip this year. I would to, love to uh, the uh, comedian have a trip. We have sea doos. I got Big a Jeffy. boat. You have a boat? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, let's, let's go. go. Let's, go. Let's, let's do a trip. I know you're you fucking. You're you're more of a, uh, you make sure uh, no, it's like a it's like a it's chaparral. Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. It's not a ski boat, but like you can wakeboard and ski. You know, I mean, it yeah. is a ski boat, but yeah, it's yeah. not. You know, really. It's need got to ski. more torque than our wave runner. Yeah, for I sure. Promise. We should Ooh. do a trip. Rent a little Airbnb and go out there and do like oh, a three, four days. I would hundred percent be down. Dude, do you go every year? Do you have the rank chip of uh, him when he got crossed? <laughs> I'd have to really dig for that photo, oh, man. There was a we've trip. Had some, we, we've had some great Airbnb experiences. One of them, I, I had, uh, I was on Tinder out there and I got these. It was like, I matched with this girl, and she'd go, oh, yeah, like, my friend. I'm like, oh, come on over. Like, my brothers are here. Like, you hang out. So it was like three of them. They come up, and Mitchell's like, yeah, this girl's really hot. And he had been drinking. He's like, and she's like, oh, yeah, do you want to smoke some weed? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to fucking smoke some weed to impress her. So he got fucking crossed, and oh, my, <laughs> he was it, and so just... <laughs> fucked up. What? We what girl has ever been impressed by a guy that <laughs> smokes Mitchell weed? Mitchell has some weird logic, I swear. <laughs> if Wait, I get ripped as fuck, this chick's going to be... 
<laughs> so he he got so fucked up. We put him inside and put him in a bed. And then at some point during the night, oh, he like shit. his subconscious was like, "Wait, she's on the patio. I got to go out there and talk to her because I go I could fuck her." But it was like in the middle of the night, so he literally just got up and like slept in a patio chair oh, no. in fucking yeah, like hundred degree <laughs> weather. <laughs> and you guys didn't take her. You guys didn't do a switcheroo on her. No, no, no. God, nobody you guys are so her. like you don't use your powers for evil at all, man. No, <laughs> wouldn't it? No, they weren't gonna hook up. He thought his mind. Oh, okay. Because we no. uh, I thought we were vibing. Yeah. But also, once you get cross-rated, you're just completely fucked. Oh, sorry. Uh, I love that idea. Who, who gets high and thinks she likes it? Well, she also had a fat ass. So I'm like, yeah. all right, if he she got, wants to smoke got, some weed, I'll smoke a little weed. He got yeah. crossed by the booty. Crossed sure. by the booty for I mean, sure. She was. I, I don't know if this is a video. I don't. I don't have a picture. You I would have, have to look for it. I have it's pictures hard. of us at the lake, but not the. Um, I say we know a lot of the good Airbnbs. Not that particular Granted. picture no. you're talking about. Damn. Um, I have a bunch of my buddy passed out at the lake. Yeah, Alex. Every single year he passes out every single time, so I take a picture of it oh, you I got like it. seven different years but when you take somebody out. out there that doesn't ever go because they don't they can't they're not ready for the heat and all that they yeah. pass out early they drink too hard mm-hmm. i will say our one buddy who uh, gorilla himself the boat away from the rocks he's like big nick big nick he's one of the the craziest drinkers i've ever seen he also should have been a d1 athlete like, he he's should have been yeah, freakishly he's, strong. he's offensive lineman side like massive dude yeah and I mean, just the last trip he had in Vegas was I, he ripped like sixteen shots. Want like he had everything, but trooper. We went out there and we were buying beer, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we got Milwaukee's best ice, like thirty for fourteen bucks." We're like, yeah. what the fuck is this shit? We'll try it. Yeah. And I've seen Nick drink gallons of beer, like he and fourteen of those fuckers. Yeah, because they're a little bit higher in alcohol. They tranquilized him yeah. like a moose. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, it's it crazy was, with the sun too. I'd never seen anything like that. It's That's also funny. the worst possible alcohol. Like it's not like you know triple distilled. It's like no, this is like yeah. Just straight it was bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really was. It was motor oil. But you, you know what's funny on the lake is Jeff uh, died one time. We took him out there and he went tubing and he won't let go of the tube, dude. <laughs> I, I had to pull him on the tube for like twenty five minutes. I was like, let go, bro. Because like, he was scared. No, or? because he was just like so intense. I was ah. like, are we done? He's like, keep going. I'm like, I'm fucking sick of driving you, dude. Like <laughs> twenty five minutes. And you That's my older brother. Uh, I tried. No, man. He was like, yeah, we were going. We were moving, too. I also had, like, five people in the boat. So oh, you, okay. can't, yeah, you, you can't, can't really go too it. fast. But he was like, oh, you can't get me off. He's screaming at me. Dude. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we usually, we used to, we like to go tandem where we get, we have multiple guys on it. And then we try to see who can outlast the other. Okay. So that's, that's, yeah. Do you guys battle each other at all? Kind we'll, of, like, yeah. push each other out. We'll try to push each other out. So yeah. we used to do, in college, we'd do two wars where it was two two-man tubes. And then your job was to get the other two off their tubes. <laughs> and dudes would, could you just be riding and a guy would just jump off the other tube next to you, have you in like a headlock. And you're like, what is going And the first time I ever played, I didn't know that's what we were doing. And I'm yeah. like, in a chokehold. I'm like, <laughs> <Just> RKO you. <laughs> but it's fun when you, like, you can get, I got a one where I got a good pop and I flew up like 10, 15 feet. Oh, I'll yeah. never forget my, I was flagging on the back of uh, Cedar for my cousin and he, the waves just the white caps sometimes they just yeah, melt they just, perfectly yeah. and they just built this beautiful wave that just went up like this. We hit it perfectly, it just doof. Uh-huh. He just took off and I still remember him going like this falling. That's Ryan. Insane. No, it was Nick. The one year Nick went oh, with yeah. us. Uh-huh. He he must have went 10, 15 feet in the air. It yeah, was insane. It's crazy. And then he landed in like just a bunch of reeds on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I was there one funny. cousin last two years ago. Granted, yeah. he you know he's got a soft head, but he uh, the one guy, Big Nick, was on the tube. He was sharing a tube with him, and our cousin's our size. Oh, he and Nick, him. Nick rolled off, and his leg just fucking whoop, right in the head, and definitely concussed him. Gay, yeah, yeah, gave him a little a concussion, so he uh, kind of mellowed out for the day. But two is like the max you can do on those. Once you get three people on there, it like I remember it depends. you need a well because when you tube. bounce it, when it bounces and it hits a certain angle, like all the like I remember there was one where like. All of our heads hit at the same time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's not fun. Like, you don't want to be on that. Yeah, it depends on what kind of tube you have. Like, yes. if it's, yeah, the two man's obviously, but if some of these big tubes, you can fit a lot of people on there. Big tubes there's, also the, there's also the bat wing ones that actually like, go yeah. airborne. Those, Those are, are illegal. illegal. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, well, that makes sense. Have you seen they're, they're bat wings? They're, they're, they're like, they're called manta rays. They're, they're kind of shaped like stealth bombers, but air gets underneath them. So they literally, 
Well, like Those are tubes. Yes. Yeah. So they literally will get airborne. They're so illegal in it'll, Florida. It'll go up ten feet in the air and you'll glide. It's like a tube glider. So wow. you'll literally be you gliding you in the air on those. I, yeah, those some of them catch air, man. It's, it's insane. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever uh, parasailed or done any of that shit? I did once. Yeah. No thanks, dude. It was cool. I, whatever. I just saw a video the other day. I wish I, I if wish I had saw it. the video, I never would have done it. So he this these people were parasailing and they had a monsoon come in, but yeah. they couldn't get the guys out, down. They couldn't oh, reel them no. in. They could not reel these dudes in. So they're literally just stuck on this parasail and they're trying to reel them in. And they're like, if the rope breaks, these dudes are just gonna take off in this oh my storm. God. Yeah. So they were like, it was Why just like a bunch just of slow boats. the boat down. It's because they already have the air under it, so the wind's up. keeping them up. The so only they, thing that's holding them on is this is this string that's attached them oh, to the that's boat. Terrifying. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was I did mine gnarly. like twenty years ago in Hawaii, and it was perfect. But yeah. I don't know if I'd do it anymore. I would Roma- a romantic that. parasailing. I would do uh, just like, oh yeah, fuck it, let's go parasailing. Fuck that. As nah, I get I older, I'm more scared of all that stuff. I'm like, I don't. Want I don't it. know. I don't even know if I want to go to the ocean. I think I'm just gonna stick lakes for a while. <laughs> I'm I scared. Know. I was scared of the bouncy house shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you weren't even there, dude. Yeah. Jeff, because you got sisters. Yeah. Brothers, Jeff would be kicking would be. everybody over in that bounce. Now he would go do to the it. weed nerd. Yeah. <laughs> dude, got to throw a dodgeball at their face. Be like the, the scene in Step Brothers when they go back. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Also, every time I thought of male cheerleading, I just think right. of the scene, the scene for dodgeball, which I'm sure everybody does. Which one? You didn't, dodgeball, the one guy's a I've male seen cheerleader. dodgeball, I'm trying, is he? Justin Long. Justin oh, Long. that's yeah. right, he is, okay, okay. And they're like, he's like, man, I hope that guy falls off the roller coaster and breaks every bone in his body. And they're like, he fell off the roller coaster and break every bone in his body, we need you to fill in for the cheerleading. And then he goes and fills in for the <laughs> yeah, cheerleading. that's right, I forgot about and that. He, and, and he, he gets, gets the girl. He gets, he gets, he gets a good puss. That's what happens, he gets man. Good puss, man. I think happens. also in Blue Mountain State, isn't the one guy, oh, he's a mascot. He's no, he's a mascot. mascot. He's Great a show. Mascot. Did you ever watch Blue Mountain State? I don't think so. Oh, great show. Great. Very underrated. It was, was it on a Spike. show or a movie? It was a, a show. show on Spike TV. I'll have to check it out. And it was pretty much just like, it followed a like, D2 college football team. Uh, you could probably find it now, right? And the main yeah. character yeah, is a backup it. quarterback. Okay. Yeah. So, I remember I remember the show. I just don't, I don't think I ever watched it. Did you, do you watch Reacher at all? Or do you know the guy that plays Reacher? Uh, no. Big dude. Alan Richardson is his name. Yeah, he's a massive, massive guy. But he originally plays the middle linebacker in Blue Mountain State, who's just this psychotic, crazy, roided out, roided out dude. He's supposed to be like a crazy Barry Bosworth kind of. Okay. And so it's it's funny watching him, and then now he's like Jack Reacher, where he says like three words, but he's just big and yeah. daunting, intimidating. Yeah. Menacing. Yeah. He was honestly, it was honestly should he should have been nominated for awards. He was so fucking was good. Was that good? Huh? I, 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 he was that out. good. That his name, his name yeah. was Thad Castle. He was phenomenal. Yes. Great show. Dude, I wonder show, why I didn't show. watch it. It was like a very. It I was mean, on Spike TV. Yeah, that's it probably why. Yeah, it, it was like it was like their last good thing they put out. Yeah. Okay. But not a we were also like, ways to die. That's also that a cool show too. They had some good stuff. Yeah. But that was like I think we were like thirteen or fifteen years old. So it was okay. like we. It was yeah, like right perfect in your immature. wheelhouse. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's Spike TV was if uh, toxic masculinity was a yeah, channel. Yeah, perfect for a thirteen-year-old dude. It was yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, for it was sure. awesome. We loved it. People getting hurt. Yeah, like, yeah. It was like literally a thousand ways to die, call, uh, like Thad Castle, and then it was like those just shows where they'd be like, "Yeah, let's review these these girls with bouncing Man- tits." <laughs> Mansers <laughs> was one of the Mansers. Oh, that's Mansers. Right. That's yeah, right. I remember yeah. that. It was and literally just a brooch. And then they had UFC. That's, that's a, what we grew up on. And you got great. us talking that explains about puss. everything. Yes. <laughs> the fact that you three were raised by Spike TV explains <laughs> everything. Yes. Man. That's amazing. Yeah, that is. I didn't think about it, but that is so true. What, Who, did, you, what did you watch growing up? Uh, like, like, I don't know. I have sports all the time. Okay. But then, like, I'm trying to think growing up. Did they, they have, did, they have, did they have color TV at the time? <laughs> you got one? No, I'm, I don't want to be me. We got a radio, no. a color TV. And, uh, I'm try- I mean, Saved by the Bell, dude. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, hell was, yeah. I mean, Zach Morris, that was like my idol, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was what I watched. Like in, But then now and then in high school, it was all like uh, The Hills. And then, okay. um, uh, OC. Sorry, I don't mean to bring that no, up. No, you're good. No, you're good. <laughs> 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 so, uh, it's a joy. Yeah. Uh, the OC, that was a big one. The yeah. OC. So you, yeah. could, you were like right at the peak of like the first couple reality shows, pretty yeah, much. I yeah, I think The Hills was like one of the first ones ever, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was. yeah. So I think I was maybe in high school right when that came out. Okay. Yes. 
So. I don't know if that's any better than us watching Spike TV. Yeah. That's like, oh, I didn't say it was better. No, but you're no, not watching good stuff when you're in high no, school. That's true. And, you no know. one's watching the history. Did you ever have, like, but a I was a sports nut. I watched every sporting event. Okay. Like, I love sports. What's your favorite sport to watch that's not like a mainstream sport? Mm. <sighs> what? That's a terrible question. What do you mean, not a mainstream sport? Well, not like baseball, <laughs> uh, basketball, uh, football. Badminton. Yeah, yeah what's your favorite fucking... sport, but you can't say any sports? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's your favorite sport, but none of the fun ones? Yeah. Uh, WNBA? Um, <laughs> Easy. I like done. cricket. I don't know, man. That's a weird question, dude. Soccer? Yeah, it's like soccer or tennis. It's soccer and tennis are main sports, right? Golf? Well, those are stupid. I can, yeah. I, those are all sports I fall asleep to. You don't have to answer. <laughs> I would just ignore <laughs> his question. Yeah. question. No, I mean, it was funny. I'm trying to think. That's my problem. I'm trying to think of a sport that just I like to watch. Olympic sport. Rugby. Yeah, That's a fun go. sport to watch. Rugby's great. Um, the yeah, but my fa- it's weird. I mean, I love baseball because I love my team, the Padres. Yeah. But then it's like football's fun to watch, but basketball live, there's nothing better. Yeah, basketball's yeah. great. Like if you're like at the game and mm-hmm. up front close. He just whatever. went to a Clippers, went to a Clippers game, game a couple weeks ago. Played the Heat. Ago. Nice. That's a fun game. Nice. And we actually got pretty good seats for, I mean, we were like 12 rows back from the court for like 110 bucks. Yeah, that's awesome. I didn't pay well, for it. it's the Clippers. So, yeah, it's the Clippers. They were playing the Heat. They're the still Clippers really are really good, yeah. The Clippers are like two in the West right now. It was, it was yeah. Kawhi, Russell. James Harden and Paul George. Yeah, they're all good. We know it's all, all Hall of Famers. That's, pretty, that's a pretty sick <laughs> we know lineup. It's on the team. Are you a Charger? Were you a Chargers fan? No, never was. I was actually a Raiders fan. You saved yourself a lot of heartbreak. I know. Yeah. Still, I'm a Raiders fan. Yeah, they're they're but on the that's up been up. a lot of heartbreak. That's been like 20 years of a bad team. But <sighs> it's whatever. not as bad as the Chargers. What do you guys? Yeah. I'm a Chargers fan. Fuck. And they were in San Diego for a, my license plate still has the San Diego Chargers. Holder. So you were a Chargers fan when they were in San Diego. Yeah. Oh. Because right when we were playing, he the, snapped many phones to them. Losing. I broke. I they broke my heart so many times. Yeah. I, it's just it's just black and I no know. It's kind my of comical just, how bad they collapsed now. They really do. I love it. Yeah. It is. They. I like that they full committed to choking this year because now it's like cool. They're gonna. Get, they got the number five pick in the draft, so it's like cool. Full rebuild. Let's go. The, what do you I'm, think they get? Belichick or Harbaugh? Harbaugh. I think Belichick. So. I don't think he's. I, don't I think, think Belichick's gonna stay. He's. He's gonna stay or retire. He's got no, no he's reason. done. They said he's done. Ah, we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. I don't know. I like Why the video of leave? him, the the ring camera video of him walking out of some girl's house and he's just shirtless. Have you seen that one? No. Oh, it's tremendous. What a savage. Uh, uh, let me see. I'll pull it up and then we'll, we're, he, we're gonna close up the guess, podcast. He, he Is he one... single? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, was dating, he was dating some chick for a while, but <laughs> I guess he, he had a one night stand and. They release a ring camera of him just like in this like random New England neighborhood. He's Bill Belichick. Shrub. Yeah, and he's like doing a wow. walk of shame. <laughs> what an animal! Yeah, he's like, and he's like wearing a headset and a hoodie. Sex <laughs> scandal too, right? The, old, the the owner Robert Kraft had yeah. some he massage had some scandal too. Massage stuff. What a doll. Hey, it's it's a it's a uh, it's a manly. Uh, it's a front office that gets after it. Yeah, know? they're like whatever, dude. We'll talk to HR later. They can we, Jeff, definitely. Can we the they they definitely watch Spike TV. Oh, I'm sure. They definitely watch Spike. TV. I grew up on The Man Show and Spike TV. Was The Man Show on Spike TV or no? The Man Show was on Comedy Central. Comedy ah, Central. okay. Do you have it? Or Promise. Okay. Yeah. Um, Big Cat, I'm not sure. We, uh... <laughs> Ring camera of the greatest coach of all time, greatest GM of all time. Take a nice deep breath. One morning. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the guy. Wow. And yeah. he left the house, no shirt, no nothing. That's no, awesome. an animal. Just, he's a machine. <laughs> what a savage. Oh, I respect so it. Funny. Well, I brought great, it up because you guys have a similar body figure. Uh, no, 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 no. I won't after this month, though. I'm yeah. sure, dude. <laughs> okay, One going. month. Josh, thank you so much for coming on the dude, show, this was man. Fun, man. Yeah. Uh, you want to plug your, your socials? Yeah, Josh Nelson Comedy uh, for Instagram, Twitter. I don't, I don't do Twitter, so don't worry about that. And the pod. Uh, YouTube. I have a special called Living the Dream uh-huh. on YouTube. Uh, and then I got a new podcast coming out with Jeff Dye called Everybody's Got a Price. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm Except excited. for Alex, who will have, who will do I two hours. Some people hours. say free, and then hot like, yoga. What? No, he'll do. Well, it's not free. You have to pay yoga. for the hot yoga. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. eighty bucks. And sleep one night standing up. We're waiting for him. That's yep. fine. We'll get, that we'll we'll get him on there. We'll that's get him on there. Insane. Nobody um, can do that. Yeah, and also if you're in San Diego area, Josh is always down in San yeah, Diego. Yeah, I'm in San shows. Diego. I do shows all the time there. Mm, Got to get you guys down. Wish we will also. definitely come down one of these days and, yep. and do some spots because yeah, that for would sure. be a we'll, blast. We'll make that happen. Uh, Jeffy. Uh, Jeff Zinisek on all socials. Hit me up on there. Join my uh, social media thing. 
Email list. Email list. There you go. Damn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Obviously, all of our subs at Verzi Triplets. Check out Josh's special, Living the Dream, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, please. We've got dates on the website. We've got plenty of local shows coming out. We'll be in Minneapolis in March as well. Uh, we got a couple other gigs. Just check out the website, VerziTriplets.com. Malibu, Simi Valley, all coming up. Thousand Oaks. we got a bunch of different spots. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you, Josh, for being on. Thank you, guys. I'm Jeff. excited to take all your followers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. No, Later.